Um, oh, this is the big controversy that everyone is, is freaking out about. Watch this, okay? We're going to watch a man die. So, despite making up 1% of the NFL or NHL population, black people are responsible for 100% of on ice murders. So, here we go. Watch this guy right here. Oh, no, it's the other guy. It's, uh... Okay, the red guy in the middle. He sees this guy coming and then decides to do a karate, like a karate kick, like a really impressive karate kick. And sh it, what's really impressive about this is that um, he has a blade on the bottom of his foot and decides to randomly crush this man's trachea. And as you can see, he just instantly dies. Because he, he can no longer breathe because his throat is crushed. Oh, actually, his throat is slashed open. And there is an enormous trail of blood. Oh, my God. Holy fuck. Dude, that's a lot of blood. That's very spooky. That's very Halloween-y. Watch it again. Oh, 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 give me that motherfucking big snood. And he's like, oh, shit, I just accidentally murdered that man. Fuck, I hope they don't cancel my scholarship. Damn. I want to um, draw special attention to uh, the fact that the score is visible on the um, the top left. And this is kind of a uh, Nigeria versus Germany type situation where it says she not. As if, you know, she is not a woman. That is a man. I just wanted to draw that there is a cosmic... Uh, transmesia uh, occurrence happening in the top left that you may not notice because there is a uh, black man murdering an, uh, an ice hockey player on the ice there. Co covering hockey for the first time. Um, I've listen. This is a true fact. I've never watched a professional baseball game. I've never watched a professional or even like a college uh, football game, or uh, a soccer game, or American football. Whatever. The I've not watched any things except ice hockey. Because fun fact, in Pensacola. There is, for whatever reason, a very, very well-known and respected uh, ice hockey team called the Ice Flyers. And there is a dead-ass, like a big ice hockey arena in the middle of Pensacola that they have to pay a lot of money to maintain because it's hot as fuck in Pensacola. And uh, the Ice the I think they changed their name. They were the Ice Pilots, now they're the Ice Flyers or something. But, like, they're so loved in Pensacola that um like people will volunteer to clean the students like the players dorm rooms while they're out of out of city there's like a like a waiting list to volunteer to clean up their rooms for them because people love that team so much it's really weird yeah there's no ice in florida but there is an ice hockey stadium and the team there is, is, for whatever reason, really well-known and apparently quite good. So uh, I've gone to see Ice, ice Flyer games in uh, Pensacola. Is it, I mean, it's like a meme. It's like you, you, you want to go see the ice hockey game because you're in Florida. And you're like, what the fuck? Why do we have an ice hockey team? That's ridiculous. And then you go watch it, and it's actually pretty fun because they bash each other against the fucking wall all the time. It's a, it's a good sport to watch. Um, let's see one more time. I, want to, I, want, I have not made a, a determination. I've not put it on record if I believe that this is an accident or not. One more time. So there he is. And then, um, he very aggressively decides, but it is hockey. You're allowed to be aggressive. He pushes that guy with the three on his shirt out of the way. Um, and then just does like a judo flying kick to the uh, the neck. Why does he lift his leg up? There's no way. Like, Yeah, that's like intentional. He like intentionally lifted his leg up to do a kick. I guess he was... I, 
I mean, I don't think that he intentionally wanted to slice this man's throat open and murder him and ruin his entire life. But I do think that he was recklessly raising his foot up in a way that is extremely against the rules of the game because there's no fucking way they let you raise your bladed foot up in the air like this. You're not doing ballet. And then he slices the throat open. Yeah, there's no way to interpret that except that he just meant to kick him and then accidentally uh, sl slit his throat. Pretty tragic, cat chat. Neighbor has more penalties of anyone of the whole league this year. <sighs> well, you know what? At least hockey's fucking inclusive now. Congratulations. This is how you know that hockey is not just a racist white man's northern, you know, exclusionary sport. We now have dead people bleeding out on the fucking ice. Um, and that just proves that we're now a, a more diverse and inclusive activity that welcomes everybody that's nice that's that's actually a what that's actually a real white pill chat to know that hockey is now so inclusive that's great um well and there's a really ironic article where um people are talking about him and then there's a a quote where they say sometimes what makes players great is that is that edge they play with. And here we can rewatch this edge and see how Matt plays with that edge. Damn, that's a good edge. That ref is thinking, damn, that's a really great edge. Look, he's completely sliced open. That's a really sharp edge. Good job, Matt. Great, great heck of a job, Branny. <laughs> um Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CAC of Remember to like and subscribe.